Former American POW Bo Bergdahl, you'll remember that moment when his Taliban captors handed him over after five years in captivity, Bergdahl patted down by U.S. Special Forces before boarding that helicopter to freedom. Well, tonight here, a very different image of Bergdahl as he faces questions from an Army investigator. I want to bring in ABC's Chief Global Affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz on this story from the start. And Martha, this was quite a change in appearance. It sure was, David. The day of his release, such an extraordinary exchange. And look back at this picture taken during his five years of captivity. He was bearded and has since told investigators he was beaten and kept in a cage. But look at these most recent photos taken by his lawyer as he prepared for his session with investigators today, clean shaven, looking healthy, and his lawyer telling us he was eager to tell his side of the story as to why he left his post back in 2009. In the meantime, Martha, if they convict him of desertion, what kind of punishment could he face? Well, if he was convicted of desertion, the penalty could be death, but there is no one I have talked to who considers that even a remote possibility. Even jail time is unlikely, David, given the time he has already spent in and, captivity. And before we let you go, Martha, still so many questions about his family. Do we know if he's talked to his parents yet? We've really got no indication that he has communicated with his parents in any way, and no one is explaining why that might be, David. All right, ABC's Martha Raddatz live in our Washington bureau tonight. Martha, as always, thank you.